Good morning. It's another day of working in the shop. We are supposed to be working on the Bombie, which we will be, but first, we had a fire. Not today, fire. Not today. Big thanks to the Hurricane Fire Department for getting that fire out and saving our bacon. So apparently while I was out of town, Tom took an opportunity to take advantage of me and my hospitality. Good morning, it is a new day and I'm working in the shop and I'm gonna do whatever I want today because Matt is gone. He's off doing something up north with his son Colin. So here I am and I've got a plan for today. This shop is really, really small and uh, we built some huge projects in here, but check it out, this is all there is. Pan around and show them. There's not some secret room in the back where we do all the real work. This is where we do it. We're working on building some new shop space, but we don't have anything yet. So I want to make this space a little more efficient. So here's my plan. I want to take all of these toolboxes and some of them are broken and the drawers don't slide and some of them are just kind of small. I want to take them all out and I'm going to put in three new roller chests. One, two, three. And they, some of them have upper drawers. I'm going to be able to pull tools from all over the yard. We got tools and storage boxes and connexes on shelves. I want to bring them all into these new toolboxes and put them away. So when Matt gets back, there might be a little problem. He's not going to know where anything is. He might be a little grouchy about that and we will probably hear about it for a while. But don't worry, I've thought all this through. I have a solution for that. Check this out. <laughs> See? All right, let's get to work. Okay, these are the new toolboxes. I'm excited because they are huge and should hold all of our tools. Three of the bottom boxes and two of the upper chests right here. So we'll open these up and get them in. Okay, first box. Yeah, you like yellow? I like yellow. All right, we got all the toolboxes in. I love it. I think this looks awesome. And we have way more drawer space. Now we just got to figure out where everything needs to go. Rudy's toolbox was one of the ones that we pulled out of here, so he stopped by. I'm here. I just had to get my bearings straightened up a little bit. Literally, bearing straight. Goodbye, toolbox. On behalf of the toolbox, goodbye, Tom. So then I get back in town just in time to start setting up for the parade. We had a great time. It was awesome. Thank you, City of Hurricane. Independence Day. All right, we're here at the Hurricane Fourth of July Independence Day Parade. We're at the beginning. It's kind of getting ready. It's early in the morning. <laughs> I was up at the shop working late. Um, yeah, it's gonna get hot. Number oh. 31, Golden Nuggets, the first car. Happy 4th, everybody. What's going on, Russell? Uh, we're installing some flags for the parade. Big dead flags. Okay. All right, what do we got here? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Look at this award. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this is a major award. Jamie, we got a major award. Hey, did, huh? All right, I'm gonna have Rylan. This is my niece. She's gonna be helping us throw candy out. We've got to figure out how there's enough room in here for her and all these boxes of candy. What else are you throwing out? There's water bottles. Water bottles. Shirts. Shirts. Air fresheners, air fresheners. And candy. All right. All right, we've got a plan. What's the plan? So we're going to have the candy down here so I can just reach down and get that. Then we have the air fresheners and the koozies. koozies. And then we have the water bottles and shirts right here. So you're just going to just chuck them out that window as fast as you can. 
All right, that's the plan. So what did we what did we do? We ran out of stuff. We did. But luckily there is tons of stuff on the back of the yeah. record. Yeah. How was it? It was pretty fun. Good. We did yeah. yeah. It was awesome. Good prank. It's definitely gotten a lot bigger than it used to be. Yeah, it's looking more like a peach days crowd. Yeah. Hurricane people know how to show up for a parade. They're they're huge support. All right. See you guys back at the shop. And all of that leads us right up to this point right now. It's Bombie time. Let's go get it. We got it in. Before we get started on this, let's address some comments. Some of you think that when I address comments, I'm addressing haters, but I'm not. I'm actually addressing my audience that's interacting with me in the comment section. First of all, how is this thing going to work without any suspension? Yeah, we've got a lot of comments. Lots of comments are going to regret not having suspension. We haven't had suspension. That Bombi's been sitting on the metal bump stops ever since I've had it, and probably long before that. So it kind of had a torsion bar set up, and they were all sagged out. They weren't doing anything. Hey, Ed. I need you to judge a contest a little bit later today. Okay. You can do that for us? Yeah. All right, we've got a contest coming up. Ed's gonna judge it. Like Tom said, this is the tugboat of the snowcat world. And it just doesn't need to be supple and plush. Just a happy harbor tug. And another thing, we are not foam filling the tires. Those foam filled tires are like 70 pounds. They weigh more than these 31 inch Patagonias. They are so heavy. And we're trying to keep our weight down. I'm ho hopefully when we're done with this, it's going to be lighter than it was with a little bit more footprint. So yeah. It'll flow better than ever. The tires will be a little softer. That'll give you a little bit of suspension where you didn't have any before. This is getting an aluminum 5.3 LS. That motor is crazy light. It's lighter than the six cylinder that was in it before. It's lighter than the four cylinder it originally came with. Well, I got these all drawn up. A lot of you notice that these axles are just tacked on and you're worried that they're going to fall off. Well, I was worried too. So I made these. These aren't going to help one bit unless we turn them into steel. So I'm going to draw these up in AutoCAD. I'll send the files over to Flog. They'll cut them out in steel. Then we can weld them in. And then the axles won't be flippy floppy. So we finally got the tires in for Milestar. We're going to get those mounted up to the wheels, and that's going to be a competition. Ed's going to be judging it. It's going to be awesome. There's one drive axle in this whole vehicle. All these back here that you see that are on it now are just idler axles. That drive axle is going to be a Ford 9-inch. We're going to run over to my house, pick it up, and start working on that. What's that you say? It's not going to work? It's never going to work. They say it's never going to work. Really? Never? It might not. This is going to be a very long series. Tom has the axle at his house, so we're going to send Jake and Rhett with him to go get that. And then Lizzie's going to get the wheels and tires in here so that we can get them cooling down because it's 115 degrees out there. All right, so I take Matt's parts that look like this. I sketch them up in the computer. Then we add speed holes because we really like speed holes. They end up looking like this. We send all these files over to Flog. They cut them out for us. Then they come back and they are awesome to weld in because everything has nice, clean, sharp, crisp edges. I'll get that sent. Muscles. OK, 
Okay, we're in my shop right now and I have an old Ford nine inch axle that has quite a history. It actually came from Matt's yard. When he first bought Winter Towing, there were all these trucks in his yard. And when I came down, I was in heaven because all of these parts and Matt's like, they're just going to the crusher. So I would come down to get stuff from him. I pulled this Ford nine inch out of a truck. I took it home with me to Idaho. I moved and took it to another house in Idaho. Now I've moved back down here and I still have that axle with me. And so I'm gonna pull it out of my pile, take it back to the yard so it's come full circle and we're gonna narrow it and stick it in the Bombi. It's this one down here. It's super light. Compared to- It's compared to down 70, yeah. yeah. So this axle, we're gonna narrow it. We're gonna pull out the third member. We'll put in a new third member with different gear ratio. We'll have to get axle shafts made. We have to weld on housing ends. It's getting all, the works. All of the above. Okay. It'll ride. Whoa. Yeah, this thing doesn't look that beefy, but it's super light. And I guess the internals, like Tom was saying, are stronger than they look. They're a goofy looking axle, that's for sure. Now we're heading back to the shop. Snow is still trapped in those. Matt, do you recognize this? I know you know what it is, but do you know which one it is? It's a Ford 9 inch. Yes. The way you set it up makes me think that I probably owned this at one time. <laughs> you did. Okay. This came from your yard. It has made a 15 year, thousand mile journey and returned back to your yard. It's like a comet. It flew around the universe and came back. Back in the Bombi. Neither of us had any idea it was going in a snowcat. No. Well, Good, good to have you back, old buddy. I can't wait to install it. For all you guys that are hoarding parts out there, you're like, I'm gonna use this someday, and it's been 14 years and you've never used it. One more year. That's all it is, one more year. Don't gonna, give up. It's gonna be worth it. In this room, there is one person that has more experience than all the rest of us combined about spooning a tire under the wheel. He's sitting right there. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna have the team line up in order of what they think their skill level is for spooning on a tire from greatest to least. And then we're gonna let everybody spoon a tire on. Ed's gonna give them a grade. This could take a couple of days. Ed, the rules are really simple. We can only use tire spoons. And if they take over 10 minutes or they cry, they're out. Okay, here's another rule. <laughs> Nobody gets to watch. Oh, what? That, he made that rule yesterday. Yeah, I don't want anybody learning anything. I want them to walk in here with the skill set they have to Listen, mount That's a, tire. a great quote. I don't want anybody learning anything. This is the lineup. We got Hefe, Lizzie, Jake, Tom, Jamie, Rhett, and Colby, and myself. We're going to be competing for some reason. Here's our judges. We've got Ed. We got Colin. Oh, Greg. Judge. Okay. Not only is it allowed, but it's encouraged to heckle. So the premise here is this. We're not trying to belittle anybody or make me look really good. But what we're doing is we're gonna see, this is kind of a lost art. Spooning tires onto wheels is something that doesn't happen anymore. Ed, how did you do it back in your day? Just by hand, hard way to do it, especially the split rims. Ed's from a generation that this is all they did. I'm kind of in between. We did some with it and some without. Most of these guys have never done it. Okay, I want you guys to line up. This is where you guys judge yourselves. Oh. I want you to get in line to see who feels like they're most qualified to least qualified. Which, which Nobody's on this. We got a lot of people on this end and nobody on this hey, end. Hey, he's a tire guy. I'm, I'm he's say, mounted tires did, before. Didn't you work in a tire shop? Yeah, we Both never mounted them in my hand. We had a tire. I'm sure. I feel like I'm right here. I'm not I feel sure. like Ed would be right here. Now here's the thing. I don't want anybody to learn. So everybody has to leave while I mount the first tire. And then Jake can come in and mount his tire and then he can watch the rest of them. Okay, ready, set, go. Slower and faster. First thing I'm gonna do is lube these 
up. You don't need a lot. You just need enough to make it a little slippery. This is, this is a, I don't know, tire mounting. I don't even know what to call it. And you just put it on here. And not only does it help the tire slip on, but it helps the, it helps the tire stay. size? I hope it is. Wow, you are doing this like fast. Am I? I hear a lot of metallic clanking out there. Maybe we live. <laughs> Maybe if we listen hard enough, we can learn what Matt's doing. It's almost like this wheel's not built right. I gotta see how much... See how much pressure I'm putting in. Yeah? They're sitting on the other side okay. But if everybody has this problem, this is going to be a problem. How much pressure can that tire hold? It probably said, probably said don't exceed 50 pounds. We're at 34. There we go. It went. Okay. Time. That was tough. Like, it's kind of weird. Mounting tires in real life is not as stressful as when you're trying to win a competition. See you guys in. Actually, ever seen a tire before? Um, once or twice on the road. That might be too much grease. That's that's you are very confident putting that much grease on. Yeah. All right. I feel so on the spot. I've never had judges before. Is it Bobby? I've had angry customers that had a pop tire, and I'd rather have those guys over my shoulder. Oh, I know. See, it's hard. They're, they're heckling me. I'm distracted. How long do you work repairing tires? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is a lot harder than I thought. Holy smokes! How did you do this so fast, Matt? I didn't. I thought I was like I was like really irritated. By the time I got done, I'm like, it's so long. How are you guys doing in here? <laughs> Nervous. They're harder than I thought they were gonna be. I thought I was gonna have one whipped on in like a minute. You're not helping the nerves. <laughs> so you're gonna give us five <laughs> more minutes. I did not pull saying. out every trick to do oh. it. That gives us But the, I didn't have to go for any extra tools. It was just what was already on the table. That gives us no hope then. Is Jake still going? The tire has, is not on the wheel yet, even on one side. Oh, was that the hard part for you? <laughs> no. I don't know. No, I cruised through this spot. <laughs> Would you have had that on already? Oh, yeah. He'd already be at the mine. He'd yeah, he'd already be gone. Do you want to phone a friend? I want to phone a friend. Okay, I'm going to get I'm gonna get it to a point for you, okay? Okay. I'm look calling out, in now. person on their first struggle.
It ain't easy putting even these little bombie wheels on my head. Awesome. That little trouble uh, had too much grease on it, but uh, I think he'll do it better than the rest of them. I hate mounting tires by hand. I built a machine in my house so I never had to do this again, and here I am doing it again. <laughs> Serves you right. <laughs> Can you make it to your house and back in 10 minutes? No. <laughs> Good luck, Tom. Thank you. Have fun. Okay, right. let's begin. Mark, let's go. Ah, uh, slow and steady, yeah. Slower is faster, that's what I always say. Man, you are moving like the tortoise. I don't think the tortoise won that race either. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember the story, right? I don't remember the story good enough. You guys are in for it. <laughs> that was not easy. I don't know hey, how Ed used to, I'm sweating. I was pouring sweat, covered in grease and tire stuff. So it was fun. The first guy in line took exactly ten minutes. You. I thought I was gonna be about five, and I was wrong. Hey, my tires are next, FYI. Is with the good cry. Now, did Tom ask for any tips? Not yet. No tips. Oh, okay. No, yeah. I'm going down with the ship, man. I'm oh, not okay. asking for any tips. He wow. would cry if he asked. Well, I like Tom's technique. Have you painted it? Looks like a yeah. Have you painted it? Put a little tree right in there. <laughs> Is it a happy little tree? Where? Where is it? Where's the air? Where does Vice gonna put a lot of air in there? It'll just be scary when it There it goes! Time! I think he's done that before. Oh, it's red. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I get to heckle my brother for free. Oh, that was a good job. Get set. Go. I don't like this type of. Oh, I'll listen to him. Oh. No, I'm just saying, I'm talking about what they talk about. Look how neat the job is. These both have the stuff on them, so I'm gonna guess. Oh, he's over! I'm just worried about self confidence where his mom is. Oh, when mom beats me, man. Oh my, he did it! Ooh, that must have been bad. Wow! Maybe. I don't know what the heck a lot. I know. I, I don't know. I think I still think when your mom beat you, where you have to put it like on the marquee at the high yeah. school or something. Red the time, yearbook. James time, yeah. Yearbook. Oh my! Oh, yeah. 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 Dude, I would hurry. Oh. Oh. Shocked, stunned, are, are a few words to say. Next contestant. That's me. On your mark, get set, go. See, Jake looks like a frog in the blender about now. <laughs> there are knees and elbows. It's like if one of them cartoon whirlwinds. Spasmanian devil. Yeah. Disrespect right there for the brush. Look at Hefe's technique. The brute force. I like it. Well, he's just he's just not losing what he's gained, and that was the problem. You were yeah. you were gaining as easily as he was. You just weren't keeping it. Yeah. You notice he keeps his back. Can't see what he's yeah. Doing. He doesn't want to look. He's at afraid us. we're going to say uh, something Curtis Beam. Okay. How do I 
It's up to the judges. Oh. Right on top. Dock it. Right here, use the bucket. I don't know. That's Set it on the bucket and push down. I don't know if they're going to stay there because it's so slippery. I know, you got to wipe off half that goo. Why that just drop it? I'll go get one. Wipe one side, totally clean. It's this so side. you can get it to get it to lock Stick. in. Yeah. Like that. The thing that's made exactly for this. Yeah, let's do it. I was on the wrong side. <laughs> There's water. Oh, it flashed the, the water in the bucket. It worked. I didn't, I didn't expect you to do it. <laughs> we just heard a very loud pop. I don't know. What do you think it was? It sounded yeah. dangerous. It was 9.37, but he had it on at about six and a half minutes, so we'll give him that. He got it on bad. All right, here goes nothing. Hey, we just can't oh, get it on. Yeah. What's your next move now? Air it up. This might not be her first rodeo. It might not be. When it comes to rodeos, it's hard to slip one past Lizzie. Oh, oh. Hey, that's it. Oh, Jim, from the judge. Help it, help it out. out. Is helping everybody. We don't want to do that thing again we had to do with Hefe's. Okay, they're done. Time! 7.42. What? Go get the next person. That's way better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just faster than that. Mark, get set, go. Okay. I'm going to say the more the better. No, really? you don't want too much. Okay. <laughs> Seems like you make it slick. Ed's not going to sit by idly and watch somebody fumble. He will jump in. So this is killing him. Well, this is I the hardest thing that Ed's ever it. done. Oh, but I didn't hit it right. <laughs> I cannot run, so please do not. Do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it didn't work well. Here, let me get it started for you. Did you, wait, did oh. you start anyone else's? Yes, Jake's. <laughs> <laughs> then there's your one help. Wow, you're making great time right now. Yeah. Woo! Nice, you got that. You got it, Ma. I'll wash it. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? <laughs> the woodsman on Hoodwink, when he's trying to cut the tree down with the ax. Could have done this faster than you. You want dinner tonight? Oh, okay, somebody else talk. I'm done. Get in there and fry it up. Are you done? Okay, well, I'm just a mayor or nothing. Oh, there it went. Time. Flip flops are hard to change tires. You set? Go. Okay. Oh, we're switching up here, huh? Okay. All right. It's so slippery now. Yeah, interesting. I want you to do a face plant. Uh, How much you want to bet your grandma could have done this fast? Oh, a lot of money. You don't know my grandma. There's a lot I of don't. disrespect to grandmas. Leave grandma out of this. You know, okay. if you work in a tire shop, you get this done faster. Ah, we're going back to this one. That method didn't prove effective. <laughs> oh, oh! Back in high school. And
you hit your star. Uh, I couldn't have even done that in the first place. There you go. But you gotta chase it with your foot before you pull it out and keep losing it. Now chase it. Yep. One more. One more, you're done. Okay, you just step on it, bro. Alright, let's get some of this. Cameraman and your attire man. Thank you, Ed. That means a lot. <laughs> okay. So the times in res respect were 439, 519, 542, six and a half minutes, seven minutes, 742, eight minutes, 855. What? Everybody came in under the 10 minute mark, so that's good. Yeah. So the lesson we learned here is. Spooning tires onto a rim is a lot harder than it looks. I want to give a shout out to the dark horse of this whole competition. This guy made it look easy, like you've, like you've seen your dad do it a few times or something. Small tires. All right, we're going to get these tires mounted up. Watch out, man. Oh, oh, roll it out of the air. That's looking more like a Bombi. Oh, cute little tires. Wow, what a week. We had a fire. We had the 4th of July. Tom snuck some toolboxes in here. We got the Bombi wheels mounted. Thank you so much for sticking with us this crazy week. And thanks for watching. This looks good. I knew he'd be grumpy.